Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist. Hey, in this video, what I wanted to show you was a new interface uh, for sales tax in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so basically what happened is uh, uh, Intuit acquired a company that, uh, you know, based on geolocation, will figure out where you're at and how much sales tax you need to collect. And so it automates a lot of the process. Now, the problem is if you uh, have been using sales tax in QuickBooks Online uh, up until the last few months, really, uh, you will not see this new interface, okay? But if you get QuickBooks Online, you know, as of just recently, I'm filming this on August 29th, 2018, uh, you will see this new interface, okay? So it can be a bit confusing uh, you may see some videos out there on, you know, setting up and paying sales tax and so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, the new, and you'll see the old interface in this video, or in the old videos, but there's now a new interface, okay? And it does make things a little bit easier, okay? All right, so the same, and, you know, this part of this, I'm not going to walk through the whole process because um, I have set it up in this file. Uh, but within the QuickBooks University, we walk through the entire process and we've got the training on the old system and the new system. Okay. So, but basically the same rules apply. I mean, uh, if you have uh, a customer that needs to be tax exempt, uh, you're going to signify that in the customer setup and then you still have your products and services. Okay. So when you, when you set up your products and services, you have to indicate whether they are taxable or not, okay? This new system does not uh, determine what is taxable and what is not, um, but it does, based on a customer's location and based on where your business location is, it does calculate the sales tax and keeps the rates updated, okay? So if you are relatively new to QuickBooks Online and you set up sales tax and you go to the taxes tab, you are going to see this, all right? And, uh, you know, if you haven't set it up yet, you're gonna see a, a screen that says, hey, let's set up sales tax. You click it and it walks you through some very basic steps of, you know, your, your company address. And, um, you know, basically that's it, okay? And it determines what the tax agency is and uh, you, you you tell it how frequently you have to file, et cetera. And then based on that, it's going to calculate your sales tax for you. And it's going to say, you know, view return, et cetera. So in this case, we said we're starting July 1st, 2018. There was no sales tax. And um, you're going to view return. It does not have the capability to e-file returns, but it does have the capability to show you um, your information, you select filing method, okay? Right now they can't e-file. I assume that's gonna come out sometime in the future. File manually, and then you say, okay, it's the total tax payment. Uh, you can go to your agency website, get the form, you fill it out, and you wanna make sure that you record your sales tax payment here, okay? Now, one other thing about, uh, let me cancel out of this. If you go up here to sales tax settings, okay, you can go here and change your setup. So if you messed up on your start date, or if you need to change your filing frequency, you can change that. Uh, 7 1 is the date that we put on here. You know, so for example, if I change this to 6 1, okay, and hit save, all right, and go back to my sales tax, now it's going to tell me I have two of them that are overdue that I need to file, all right. So again, the, the setup of this is pretty important, all right? And if I go in and I do a, let's say that I do an invoice and I do it for this John Smith landscaping, let's just pick uh, services and 500 bucks. If I click that this is taxable, okay? You'll see it's gonna calculate the sales tax, okay? And if I hit save and close and I go back to taxes, okay, you're going to see now that this accrual has gone from 30 to $60 and added another 30 in there. Okay. So when August is done, this will not be gray anymore and you'll be able to view the return. Okay. So again, 
it, it, depending on when you set up sales tax in your QuickBooks Online, you may or may not see this interface. This is the newest interface, okay, that they're putting out there. And um, it does help make things a little bit easier. All right. So any, uh, you know, questions, uh, post some questions below this video. Uh, I'd love it if you'd like the video and also for the full QuickBooks Online training with personal support for me to answer your questions. Uh, become a member uh, over at the QuickBooks University. It's qbuniversity.org.